New Year's Live, presented by Elite MD, with your hosts, Catherine Heenan and George Raz. And welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our little party here at 4. Uh, you're looking at Times Square in New York City. They rang in the new year, well, a little over three hours ago, in that beautiful big Waterford crystal ball, George. It's covered in crystals, and people are kissing, and uh, they had a big party there. They were figuring about a million people in Times Square, believe it or not. Times Square, Catherine, is the number two destination for New Year's Eve travelers. Number one, Las Vegas. As we're counting down now, you notice in the corner 23 minutes. There have only been two times that the ball has not dropped, which uh, was a tradition that was started in 1907. Originally, it was just a ball that was lit with a few light bulbs. Now there's over 9,000 LEDs in it. Catherine, two years when when they didn't drop. When were those two years? Oh, well, When I, would you guess? I would guess it had something to do with uh, one of the wars. World War II is okay. exactly right. And it was Close in uh, 1942 and 1943. And that was for lighting restrictions. That was the reason why they didn't do it. A little, a little quiz. Well, from a 1907 tradition to a 1967 and the summer of love, one of the most enduring memories of the 60s, uh, the music, of course, it was wonderful. Henry is with the likes of uh, Janis Joplin hey, and uh, talk, Jimmy. Catherine, because yes. they're, they're not playing yeah. right now. <laughs> they're in between breaks. But does that bother us? We've got Mick Jagger here. we got Jim Morrison, who's looking very good for his age. Thank and you, thank you. Uh, earlier, Janis Joplin. We got music coming up in just a little while. They're warming up in the backstage. Led Zeppelin is coming up next. Going to take us into 2011 or 1970. But, you know, who's counting, baby? Be fun. They are having fun there. Indeed. And uh, Vicky Libiakis is down at the Embarcadero. Uh, Vicky, have you uh, found anyone yet to, to kiss at midnight? Oh, apparently so. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Actually, I'm here with Joe, the bartender. He's very well known in this place. And as a matter of fact, we're going to... Uh, is that for me? It is indeed. Okay. I'm going to hold on to that for just one uh -oh. second, if I can do that. But, um, you know, over the past year, we've all been really bombarded with all kinds of crazy images from, I don't know, from the Internet, from uh, your cell phone, from the TV set. There's some images that you'll likely remember and some you'd like to forget. Let's go ahead and roll to Oh my god, look at that. Look down, back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell. Of. Francisco and I can tell you, right over there, there's some people smoking weed because it's coming this way. Why are you smiling? He swung his tie off. He was happy that he, he said, I quit my job. I'm, I'm done with it. Later, then grabbed two beers from the galley, deployed the escape chute, and slid his way into the front page of New York tabloid. It seems like it's something here has resonated with a few people. Perhaps a new low in negativity. If voters were not angry, you would not be seeing angry ads on the part of politicians. Meg Whitman, don't say I was part of your family because you never treated me like I was. If you ran for president, could you beat Barack Obama? I believe so. What's your read about Sarah Palin? I think she's very happy in Alaska, and uh, I hope she'll stay there. It's a jackass. It is, in fact, not a political rally. Uh, you wanted the number on my therapist? <laughs> Pun intended. And I'm his grandmother, Loretta Matthew. Lady Gaga! I'm really glad to be able to perform tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not taking this as a joke. It's my life. The royal household itself will be paying uh, for the wedding. How can I go back? Facebook doesn't want you to see. Here it is. Struck him out. And for the first time since 1954, the Giants are world champions. Joe, I don't know about you, but the Giants 
Pirates victory. That had to be the top story of the year. Highlight for us here at Waterbar. All summer long, go Giants! Go Giants! Ow! We'll toast to that. Back to you. Thank you, Vicki. We think uh, those two look like a very nice couple, by the way. Indeed they do. Thank you, Vicki and Joe. We're going to be uh, right back as the last few minutes of 2010 unwind. Let's leave you with pictures of the huge celebration in Sydney. I think this is the biggest one, George. Really beautiful. By the way, there's a huge crackdown on alcohol this year at the parties. Some Australians not too thrilled about that. I can imagine they wouldn't be. Sydney, the first major city in the world to celebrate the new year, and it does bill itself as the biggest party in the world, but we have our own big party right here in San Francisco, and coming up in just 17 minutes, uh, we'll be ringing in the new year in our own hometown. We'll be right back.